this is Marzipan. I'm out looking at the fall colors. Please leave me a message, and I'll call you right back. Uh, Mrs. Pan, uh, hello. Uh, yes, this is, uh, Mr. Nobody from the Toilet Patrol. And, um, we're just calling because we need you to do a checkup on your toilet. So if you could, uh, stick your head in the toilet and, uh, flush the toilet. <laughs> and then give us a call back and let us know if your toilet is all right. Okay. Have a good day. Oh, uh, hey, Marty Pan. It's Elmstar, and it is... 2.30, and me and Pom Pom are about to leave, so we'll see you there, and, uh, and what? <laughs> Pom Pom says, don't be late. Pom Pom, you're crazy. Okay, we'll see you there. Bye. What? Oh, it's a machine. Oh, hey, hey, Marzipan, it's Strong said, and uh, I was wondering if you, do you still have my CDs? Because I think you still have them, and it's been three months, and um, I like those CDs, and uh, and I even got you those same CDs for your birthday, and you still have mine, so I, if you could give them back, or I mean, I guess, you know, take your time, you don't have to give them back if you, um, you don't want to... Have a good day. Bye. Uh, hey, Marzi Ben. It's Homestar again, and me and Pom Pom are here, and you're supposed to be here, but you're not here. So, um, I guess we're gonna go in. We'll get you a ticket, and we'll go in, or maybe I'll wait outside. Um, no, I'm in, or maybe I'll go in. Um, but Pom Pom's got his cell, so. Give us a call on his cell phone if you get this message, and if not, um, we'll, I'll tell you if it was good. Okay, bye. Um, Master Pan, and this is Strong Bad, um, calling you for the first time today. No reason I would have called you before, because this is the first time for calling to you. Uh, so anyway... I need some help baking. I I can't get these cookies to come out right and now I'm out of eggs. So it you got any bright ideas, give me a call. Um because I've only called you once, so you can call me back once now too. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, hey there, Marzipan, it's uh it's the Coach Z here, and uh I'm leaving you a, a, a machine, or a message, on your machine there. And I, I got a favor to ask you about Homestar. He's, uh, he's kind of been dragging us, took us around the field at, uh, you know, at, at practice there. And I was wondering if you could do something, you know, to kind of cheer him up. Maybe the, you know, something that you girls do for the guys. One of those type things. You know, I don't know, you could do some type of a silly dance or, uh, Put something in his pants. You know, I don't know what you do there, but uh, I really appreciate it because he's been looking kind of blue out there on the on the field. So, okay then. Uh, good day. Hi, this is Marzipan. Leave me a message. I am screening my calls today, but I'll pick up if I feel like it. See you later. <clears throat> uh, yes, hello there, Mrs. Pan. This is... Uh, detective everybody down here at the station, and, um, we got your boyfriend, Homestar, down here, and, uh, he's dead. Because we killed him because he was so stupid that we had to shoot him to keep him from being even more stupid. So, if you want to come down and ID the body, there's not much left. We put about 37 slugs in him. And, and things don't look too good. Uh, so, if you could come down, we would appreciate it right now um, to come look at your dead boyfriend. <laughs> okay, have a good day.
Oh, hello, Marzipan. It's the king of town here. I just wanted to invite you to a, a banquet I'm having. It. Oh, oh, I've got to call you back. My, uh, my pizza's just arrived. Ooh. Hi, Marzipan. This is Marzipan calling. Just wanted to remind you, don't let Homestar have that leftover strudel tonight because he's looking a little bit fat around the edges. Okay, see you tonight. Oh, hello, Marzipan. It's the king again. I apologize. So, about my banquet, it's going to be at my castle, and... Oh, oh, my leg of lamb is here! Oh, excuse me, I've got to call you back! Do, 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 do! Oh, Paul, that's not what I said! Okay, okay, Marzipan, seriously, that is not what I said at all. Um, I don't know what Pom Pom is talking about or why he would call you to tell you what he just told you. In fact, I think that was some type of hilarious joke. <laughs> That's what it was. Pom Pom, I've said it once and I'll say it again. You're crazy. Okay, sweetheart, bye. Okay, Marzipan, let's give this one more try. It's the king again, and about my banquet. I went, oh, oh, I'm sorry, my year's supply of Salisbury Sundays has just arrived. I'm never calling you back. Me, no, no. Hi, this is Marzipan. I'm feeling very vivacious today. Please leave me a message. Oh, hello, Marzipan. Uh, this is you, Marzipan. Calling yourself like you do all the time because you're so stupid. Uh, I just wanted to call to tell you to uh, punch Homestar Runner in the face as many times as you can um, and as hard as you can. Oh, and also start calling yourself um, Ugly Pan. From now on, that's what everybody's gonna call you. Um, uh, me. Okay, I'm gonna see you tonight, because I'm you! Hello, Master Band, it's Bubs! Uh, I was just calling to see if maybe you wanted to, uh, you know, maybe get together sometime, uh, grab a bite to eat or something, or maybe just come on down to the concession stand, I can give you a snow cone, or, uh, you know, there's nothing formal, just, uh, two friends getting together, you know. Anyways, uh, it gets kind of lonely back here behind the concession stand, so... Uh, give me a call back. Maybe we can, uh, set something up. Okay. Uh, no need to mention this to Homestar or anything. No reason, but, uh, all right, I'll talk to you later. Uh, hey, Margie Pen. It's Homestar. And, um, did Bubs try to call you? Because he was asking me for a phone number and, like, acting all weird and asking me all these questions about you, like, if you've got an open mind and stuff. And I don't know what it was about. I mean... Maybe he just wants you to sell those fundraiser candy bars for him again. I don't know. But anyways, he's probably going to call you. Okay, bye. Hey there, Marzipan. It's, uh, it's Coach Z here. Just calling to say what's up. I just wondering if maybe you needed somebody to go get donuts with sometime. Because, you know, I, uh, I don't see Homestar getting any donuts, so maybe, you know, you need somebody else to go get donuts with there, and I'm your man, uh, so give me a call there if you want to, uh, we'll go and have donuts, okay, uh, no reason to, uh, mention this to Homestar, you know, uh, just you and me going to get donuts, okay then, good day. Okay, 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 Barty Pan, this is really weird. Coach Z just asked for your number. Um, so I guess he's probably gonna call you too. I don't know what's going on, but um... Are you still my girlfriend? Press 1 for yes or 2 for no. Oh wait, you're not on the phone. Um, uh, okay, they call me back later and say 1 for yes or 2 for no. Or, or just say yes or no. Okay, bye! Marry me! Marry me, marry me, marry me. Hi, this is Marzipan. 
I'm out doing some very important things, so please leave me a message. And if this is strong, bad calling to prank call me, can you please do the one where I win the radio contest? Because that one's my favorite. Okay, bye. Oh, hey, Pop Pop. <laughs> I just heard the best TV joke. Okay, so I was watching TV White, and there was this show with this guy on TV, and he made a TV joke, and it was so hilarious. <laughs> and, um, Here's how it went. Um, it was like a joke. And oh, hello, Marchipan. This is the king of town. Do hoo 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 hoo. Uh, I just called to tell you that Strongbad is not the guy who's leaving you all of these prank calls. Okay? Uh, it was me all along. Do the de hoo, the de hoo, the de hoo. Um, so next time you see me. Give me a kick in the face. And next time you see Strong Bad, give him a dollar, why don't you? And apologize for accusing him wrongly. Um, okay, I have to go eat a bunch of crap because I'm the king of town. Do hoo 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 hoo. Oh, hey, Marzipan, it's Strong Said, and, um, my caller ID says that you called, and, uh, I, I missed the call because I was. Lying in the dark. Uh, so I'm excited that you called and I hope you, you call me back. Uh, I'm gonna sit here by the phone until you call me back. Okay. Bye. Uh, hey, Mozzie fan. It's Homestar. And, um, I'm gonna tell you about this TV joke I just heard, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. So I was watching TV, right? And there was this show with this guy, and he was on TV, right? Okay, and so he makes this TV joke. <laughs> and, it, and it was so hilarious. Okay, it was like... Okay, I can't remember what it was like, but it was a TV joke, and you know how those are. Okay, um, I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye! Oh, hello, Marjorie! <coughs> oh, hello, Marjorie! This is Strong Bad! And, um, holy crap! You caught me! I've been leaving you prank calls all along! Crap, crap, crappity, crap, crap! Um, so uh, you better send your boyfriend over to beat me up, right? Oh, man. Crap. Um, and while he's at it, he might as well return the king of town his easy bake oven, which I've had for over three months now. Okay. Um, holy crap. Oh, hey, Marzipan. It's strong sad again. You can disregard my last message because I realized that the caller ID was actually from yesterday when I was over at your house and I called my own house to leave a message for myself to remind me to check my caller ID. So uh, if you want to call me though, I'm still going to wait by the phone. Hey, Tony, that one doesn't work on answering machines, man. You gotta be walking to answer the phone. Stop trying to do that prank call, man. Hello. Hi, this is Marzipan. Leave me a message and I'll get right back to you. Hey, leave me a message and I'll get right back to you. Hey, leave me a message. Hey there, Mercy Man, it's called Z. Whee! Hey, Look at me, no, I'm called Z. No, 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 oh, I know I'm a poet, though. No, I, I apologize. I, I, I'm over at Bubs's place. I, we're just hanging out here, having a good time, you know. Good time, time three. Makes one, two, Coach Z. See, I told you I was a poet now. Uh, so anyways, like I say, we're just hanging out over here. Having a great time, and I started thinking about you. Because I always have such a great time with you, because you're such, you're such a beautiful person, and you just, you're so perfect, and you know, I couldn't ask for more than a lady. Oh, 
allergies. I'm sorry. I, I gotta go. Ah, hello, my sweet pan. It's Hamza. Ah, we just called in to thank you for the flowers you sent me while I was in the hospital. Ah, I'm feeling much better now, but I still can't feel my legs. Okay, bye bye. <coughs> Cheerio there, Mrs. Pan. This is Constable Anybody over here at the Royal Society for Total Dorks. We would like to welcome you to our prestigious society. In fact, we want to make you freaking president. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yes, so all you have to do is uh, go to your window and stick a couple of pencils up your nose and <laughs> then you'll be the president. <clears throat> okay, cheers, because I'm so British. Hey there, Marzipan, it's Coach Z. Uh, so Bubs tells me I gave you a call last night uh, in the wee hours there. Um, I'm not too sure what I may have said, but I'd like to apologize. Make kind of a blanket apology. Cover the whole thing there. Like one of them blankets you put on a fire. You know, when the, when you're burning leaves in the backyard and it gets out of hand, and, you know, you gotta throw that blanket over here. That's what this apology is here. So, uh, hope I didn't offend you or say anything out of turn there. Though I suppose you can't really say nothing out of turn. On a machine, right? Because, you know, when's your turn on the answer machine? It's not till you call back. Okay, so now I'm just rambling, but, uh, I am still a poet. And, uh, and don't I know it. Good evening, sir or madam. My name is Hope Starwato. I represent Distinguished Businessman. Are you getting the lowest weights from your long distance provider? I can give you weights as low as anybody. Seriously, I don't know what they are, but I probably can give them to you. Um, here's one. Beep! <laughs> no, that was just me pressing the phone. Okay, it wasn't even me pressing the phone, it was just me saying beep! Uh, I can provide you with other stuff too, like this pen on my desk, or like these post-its. This is great. Am I getting paid for this, really? Um, doodly dee dee ba dee 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 dee. Oh, hey, Marzipan, guess who this is? It's Strong said. I was just calling because I figured you wouldn't be home, and I'd never done that thing, you know, where you call somebody and you're leaving a message on their machine, and then while you're leaving the message, they pick up the phone, and it's like, oh, hey, hi, I was just leaving you a message, you know, how are you doing? And so, see, I never had that happen to me, so I thought I'd just call you and talk talk to your machine till you got home. So that's what I'm going to do. Hello? Hello? Marzipan? Hello? Hi, this is Marzipan. I'm sitting in my dark room, thinking. Please leave me a message. Oh yes, hello Marzipan. This is your doctor, Doctor Professional. And I, uh, your results have come back from the lab, and I'm afraid I have some bad news. Uh, you've been diagnosed with serious problems. I mean, these are really serious, man. And I only give you a couple of weeks, sadly. Um, so it's hard to break this news to you, but if I were you, I would start giving your stuff away to people. Um, like, maybe put your stereo out on the sidewalk right now, and then go back inside and, and look for some other stuff that, um, maybe I might, I mean, people might want to have. Um, okay, hope you had a good life. Ooh, hey, Marcy Pan, it's the king. Um, I wanted to talk to you because I've been... Noticing recently that I, I'm not very cool, and nobody really likes me. Um, so I thought maybe you could give me some pointers, or put in a good word for me with the guys. You know, 
I mean, I like the same bands as you guys, and or maybe you could, I could get them something, like you could tell me what kind of video games they like or something. I, I'm getting kind of desperate and lonely. Okay, bye! Hey, Marzipan, this is Kevin. Uh, we were just calling uh, a bunch of us are over here just seeing what you're doing tonight. Um, give a call back. All right. Uh, hey, Marzipan, this is Strongman. Um, I was wondering if you could help me with the dilemma I have. Uh, I don't know what to get for my girlfriend for Valentine's Day. Um, you know, my girlfriend who uh, lives up in the other country um, that you've never met and you'll probably never meet her. But uh, she's really real, you know, so I'm trying to think of what to gather, like chocolates or flowers or something, you know, real, the type of thing you give to a real person that exists. Um, so, you know, any ideas you have, because my girlfriend really likes presents from me, her real boyfriend. Uh, okay, uh, give me a call. Oh, hey, Marcy Ben, this is Homestar. Um, I was wondering if you could help me with the dilemma I'm having. I can't think of what to get my girlfriend for Valentine's Day. Um, she's kind of annoying and overbearing and kind of a big hippie. So, if you could... Uh... Do, do, do. The number you have reached is not your boyfriend calling you, uh, right now. Do, 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 do. This is the dial tone. Do. Okay, bye. Ooh. Ooh. Happy Halloween. Don't be too scared. Because it's Halloween. Please leave a message. This is Marzipan. Hey, Marzipan. I was just letting you know that Hamsa and I are going to bust out the Ouija board tonight. And if you're up for it, it could be pretty fun. I'm hoping to see if any dead people will be my friends. All right. See ya. Hey, Bubs, it's Marzipan. Oh, snap. I mean, hey, Marzipan, this is Bubs. Just wanted to let you know that Coach Z got that kick in the crotch you sent him just fine. He's chilling out on the couch right now. I think he'll be out of commission for a while. Uh, anyways, remember, Friday is tainted candy sellback day at the concession stand, so be sure to stop on by. Later. Trick or treat! Marzipan, you got any treats? No? Then you get a trick! Oh, this isn't Homestar after all. My name is Dead Guy Poest, alternately known as the DGP. And I'm a dead guy. I'm coming to your house. Oh, I knocked over the thing. Um, I'm not coming to your house after all, but leave me a message and I'll get right back to you. Uh, good day to you, Mrs. Pan. This is Safety Dan over here at the Safety Squad. Uh, just calling you with some Halloween safety tips. Always remember when trick-or-treating to wear all black and paint your face black and dye your hair black, all, everything black. If need be, wrap yourself in electrical tape and walk in the middle of the street at all times and dart quickly into the street and across intersections. Also, we have recently come to find that your house has in no way been targeted for multiple eggings and toilet paperings. So you've got nothing to worry about. Probably just go to your stupid boyfriend's party and, um... No one at all will egg the ever-loving crap out of your house. Okay. Once again, I'm Safety Dan. Happy Halloween. Bonjour, amigos. Je m'appelle Marzipanio. Please leave me a message, and I will call you back, yo. To la toots, everyone. Oh, hey there, Marzi. I was just calling to see uh, whether we were just friends or... More than just friends. 
See, I sometimes forget what's real and what's just in my head. So, uh, give me a call back or, uh, maybe just come on by my place and we can discuss this over a bowl of crackle and oat bran or the crunch berries. Okay, take the care. Oh, and by that I mean, like, uh, tender loving care, not, not, uh, take my automobile. A lot of times people have trouble understanding. Hello, Marty Pan. This is Sweepstakes Ron. Come to bring you great news. You have been randomly selected to win an unlimited supply of one million punches in the face. So to claim your prize, just blindfold yourself and walk out on the front stoop. St or stoop. And get ready to receive your free million punches in the face. Don't delay. Get outside right now. I'm waiting in the bushes. I mean, to, for, to give you the million punches in the face. Hello? I think I have the wrong number. Your voice sounds like this is the wrong number. But just in case, can I interest you in a challenge? Or maybe some light fighting? If so, call me on my cell phone! Hello, Mars Pan. Alright, now make him say it. Make him say it. Kiss the butt. Did he just say kiss the butt? No, make him say kiss my butt. Kiss a butt. Not kiss a butt. What's wrong with this thing, Bubs? I thought I told you no names. I, uh, uh, What's up, Paul Keegan? This is Homestar 10 from Homestar10.com, and you're listening to the Cornbread Hour here on WPKG.5, the voice of Paul Keegan State. Okay. Sweepstakes Ron, are you there? Hello? You told me to call this number and leave a radio promo, and then you'd, you'd give me the sweepstakes. So, give me some of that sweepstakes. Hi, this is M-A-R-Z-I-P-A-N. Please leave me a message after the B-E-E-P. Hello, Marshall Penn, it's the King of Town. Look, I need to know if it's still Thanksgiving. Um, I really, really need it to still be Thanksgiving. Like, I fear for my personal safety if it's not Thanksgiving still. And if not, then is it next Thanksgiving yet? Okay, if you could get back to me as soon as possible, that'd be great. Good morning, Marzipan. This is your cable man. Uh, Cableman Jorge, just calling you regarding your service. We need you to do a little routine maintenance on it. So go ahead and buy, like, a hundred-foot spool of coaxial cable and run it off your cable box and out the window and give it a toss in the general direction of Strongbat's house. And while you're at it, you may want to go ahead and upgrade to the premium package, which includes all of the pay channels... And the Olympic triple cast. So, get that done for us, we'll be, we'll be much obliged. Tenderly, I remain, Cableman Jorge. Hey there, Marzipan, it's the lyrical wondermind Coach Z. Calling to ask if, uh, you seen one of my disco tapes. I think I left over there. Uh, it's one of my most favorite disco tapes. And I'd really like it back, so I'm gonna come, I'm just gonna head on over there. Uh, and if you're not there, I'll just let myself in the crack in the window like I usually do. I mean, not, I never do, because I've never snuck into your house before. I mean, who's sneaking over here? Nobody. I'm creeping. Have you tried these new crazy curly fries? I mean, they're crazy. It's like a french fry, but it's all curled up into a curly cue! Oh, hey Marzipan. This is that guy Strongbad. Um, I was just reading on my internet about how tofu is made from little baby seals. Yeah, so like, all this time, you've been eating, um, Little baby seals. So what? I guess they're gonna keel over it like any second now. 
by the thought of all these little baby seals running around in your stomach. I mean, that's just gross. It's just plain old gross. So, in conclusion, you should listen to your cable man. So I just got this message you left for me on Pop Pop's cell phone, telling me to go away and pick up sticks? Well, I say that is garbage, sister! Having to put up with you is like having to put up with garbage! I don't know where you get off, but it's definitely not at the Homestar station anymore. Looks like you're riding the 730 alone train to Aloneville, making stops at Ex-Girlfriend Junction and West breaking up with you! Oh, and you can keep the collector's plates! Okay, so after a second listening under the tutelage of Pom Pom's keen eels, it appears that you are asking me to go to Richway and pick up some hefty bags, not to go away and pick up sticks. And now that I think about it, I don't really know what that would have meant even if you had said that. So, best thing to do is to go back and not listen to that message. And then we've got nothing to worry about. Oh wait, in fact, you want Richard? You want to hear you want to hear with your ship? Okay, there. I think I reversed it. What? What do you mean that doesn't work? Oh crap. All I gotta do is switch out the tapes, and none will be the wiser. Oh, hey, this is Marzipan. Hey, um, leave a message after my beeps. Beep. Oh, hey, Marzipan, this is a trombone. Oh, uh, go around. Go around with duty on your head. I think it'd be funny. Okay, bye. Beep. Hey there, Marzipan, it's your Coach Z. I was just wondering why you weren't at field hockey practice today. Oh, great job. Oh, I mean, great job. Oh, I mean, great job. Boop. Oh, hey, Marzipan, this is Strong Ted. Um, some animal died. Boop. Hey yeah, boy, Japan. This is your boyfriend, Home Star Arnold. You're the best girlfriend I ever had. Let's have a marriage. Let's have a marriage license. Okay, bye. Boop. Hi guys. Leave me a message, and I'll leave you with an abstract thought. Is a penguin a bird or a duck? Hey, Marzipan. It's Strong Sad. Um, I just rented the V.I. Warshowski DVD. Thought maybe you'd want to come over and check it out with me. Uh. Says here it's got deleted scenes, director commentary, interactive menus, scene selection, widescreen mode, uh, running time. That sounds pretty deluxe. I know it's one of your favorites, so when you get this, give me a call and uh, we'll do it upright. Okay, so what am I doing here? Step one is to greet the recipient of the prank call. Okay, okay, I got it. Ahem. <clears throat> hey, Paw Bob. Bah, wrong. Hang up and start over. Oh, in your march bed. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Step two is where you reveal your fake identity to the pranky. Oh, I'm Batman. What? No, just make up a name. Okay, okay. Hey, march bed, this is Homestar. Bah. Oh, hello, Marzipan. This is Strong Bad. <laughs> oh, hello, Marzipan. This is Sugar Face. Okay, now what? Well, step three is to continue the prank in a direction determined by your identity, but, uh, you're on your own with Sugar Face. Okay. I am a pretend guy that comes around and. Gets one over by a lawnmower blade. What? I chose to end in song. Oh boy. Remember how I said this is a six-week course? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, it turns out it's cancelled. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, man. Yeah, it's a shame. Oh, well. It's still the second best 500 bucks I ever spent. Hey, Marzipan, it's Strong Sad again. Um, I haven't been honest with you. I don't really have the V.I. Warshowski DVD. I just went to the video store and copied down the features from the back of the DVD box. I just wanted an excuse to call you and... Oh, jeez. Strongbad's right. I'm a waste of space. I said you are a waste of fat space! Hi, this is Marzipan. I'm out expanding my horizons. Leave me a message. Good afternoon, Marzipan. My name is Bob Statesman. I'm running for elected official this Tuesday. I'm calling to garner your vote. I support all the issues. Save the animals, move the ocean over there, just like you. We are currently accepting campaign donations to support our cause against the runoff candidate of Corey. In order to beat this guy, we need the contributions of constituents like you. We accept donations in the form of cash, all varieties of cupped cakes, and hard rock albums on cassette. As always, please put your donations in a cardboard box and leave it at the street. And really do it this time. I mean, I've never called you before to ask for anything, but seriously, put some stuff in the street. Oh, hey, Bossy Ben. This is something funny. Whatever. This is Hopestar. What is a seven-letter word for 13 across? And it starts with a five. I mean, an F. I mean, there's not a letter there yet. Mars bad. Nothing? The old cold shoulder, eh? Okay, then how about a four-letters word for censoring a cuss word? Hey, that's it! Beep! Thanks for your help, you old boomstick! Boop! 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 This is a napkin alert, Marzipan! I've lost uh, my napkin! It's the one I always use when I eat buffalo wings, and I can't find it anywhere! No, it answers to the name The Flamingo! So if you've seen it, please have it give me a call! I got, like, 50 frickin' wings sitting here! I can't eat these things without the flamingo! Um, sorry for the loud talking. This is the K.O.T. In the place to be. Cześć, marzepan. To jest Łukasz. Czy masz ochotę na lody? Proszę zadzwonić do mnie. Będę w domu. Jak zwykle. Hey, Marzipan, it's the Strong Bad. Look, I just wanted to thank you for actually putting that stuff out in your front yard. Or, I mean, thank you on behalf of Senator States Bob. I mean, that old hamster cage? That thing's gonna melt up real nice. And like those Bobsy Twins books? More like the Hotbsy Twins. I'm not sure why you wrote United Way on the side of the box. Unless you're referring to the United Way in which Senator Bobblehead is going to win the election. Huzzah! Anyways, I had nothing to do with that fax machine that's on fire in your front yard. Bye! Yeah, yeah. Leave a message. You got a call from the Flicker Man! Hey, Marzipan, it's the Flicker Man! Your Marzipan machine's been Flickerfied! I was just calling up to see if you wanted to join my snicker band. I got instruments, drums, cymbals, drums. Now all I need is some snicker girls to dance around in some go-go boots. All you gotta do is shimmy shake a little bit to the left, and if time permits, shimmy shake a little bit to the right. Oh, and in regards to your question, can you have some? Yeah. Shut up, kid! Here hang up the Snicker Man! Click! Marzipan, look, this is goat face. I have a goat for a face. Like, not that I have a goat's head for a face, or that my head is a goat's head. Like, my face is an entire goat. 
So anyways, I was calling you up because I wanted to join your goat face club. Since you've got quite a goat face yourself, I figured you'd be the go-to guy or gal. It's hard to tell with that goat face of yours. Anyways, my number is... So give me a call back. We can compare goat faces. Though I can't imagine that yours... You're, is pre- you're ugly, Marzipan. This is Strong Bad, and you're ugly. Hi, Marzipan. This is not Marzipan. Just calling to leave you a mean prank call so that you don't get your feelings hurt when other people prank call you. Um, here's the prank. We all know that that hair color is not your true color. Hi, hey, Marzipan. 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 This is all your friends. All your friends. All your friends. All of your friends. Calling you. Calling you. Calling. We're all calling you. Calling you. To tell you we hate you. 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 And you owe us some money. You owe us some money. Yeah, you owe me ten bucks. Yeah, you owe me twelve dollars. You owe me twelve dollars. You owe us some money. And you said you bake us a cake. 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 Oh, hello, Marzi Pan. You got the H star, you got the H star. And boy, have I got a B in my bonnet. So, what, I gotta hear from Strong Bad now that you have an N at the Goat Face Club? Were you even going to mention it to old Boyfriend Dan? That's. that's me. Boyfriend Dan. You know good and well that I've dreamt of being in a Goat Face Club ever since I was a moderately sized baby. And you said you'd bake us a cake. And who is this boyfriend Dan I keep hearing about? Well, you tell him to watch his back. Because the old goat face killer is on the loose. Now, that's me. Now, I'm the goat face killer. Hi, this is Marzipan. I'm probably outside eating some dirt or something. So just leave me a message. Oh, hey, Marzipan. It's Homestar. Check it out. I'm on Pom Pom's cell phone. I'm going to send you a text message. Are you ready? Here goes. P. L. Z. Spaceball. G. E. T. Spaceball. E. G. G. S. Spaceball. Nope. Back spaceball. Comma. M. I. L. K. Question mark? Okay, now I have to send it. Boo boo doo. This is great. Now we don't have to talk anymore. Bye! This is my new jam! I'm not talking about butter! Or how nobody likes me! It's the new KOT! In the 2003 plus 3! I play guitar, apparently! Okay, Marzipan, this was the only way I knew of to cut my demo! So I'll need to come over there soon and unreasonably search and seize this tape from you. See you in a bit. Yes, yes, what, what? Testing, testing, two and three. I've got a hankering for a prankering. This telegramophone recording will be launched forthwith into the stratosphere in the hopes that one day, many decades from now, some buck-tooted fool will receive it and be thoroughly bamboozled! Yes! Now, on with the prank! What's the difference between William Henry Harrison and James Garfield? Answer! Nothing! They both enjoy lasagna! Stop! How's that? This is my new Anybody hear me? Give me the high sign. It's the Homestar Runner, speaking into an empty soup can 
with a length of twine coming from the neath. Hello, empty soup can. Hello, length of twine. You seem like mighty fine fellers. Why, I ought to fill you up with cat gut and call you lunch. See you around, Brown. Hello, Marzipan. This is Lorenz Magazine Man calling to tell you that your subscription to Soy Bread Tofu Hybrid Cars Magazine is about to erupt. You need to evacuate. It's gonna blow sky high. Get out while you can. So what you gotta do is, and believe me, I'm Lorenz Magazine Man, who are, who you gonna trust, is bake all your money into a no-bake apple pie and set it cooling on your windowsill. So that way, once the eruption is great, you can come home and eat pie and money because it's still going to be there on your windowsill. Am I, am I wrong? Somebody, am I wrong? Everybody here at the office with their headsets on said you're not wrong. So this is Lorenz Magazine Man saying the magma is seeping under the door. Aloha, this is Marzipan. I'm lounging on the lanai, enjoying a wheatgrass teeny in my wheatgrass kini. Please leave a maka maka message. Hey, Marzipan, it's Coach Z. Just calling to remind you that spring shin tryouts are just around the corner. Don't forget to bring your shin guards and your shin pads and your shin protectors and your shin rub. Uh, don't worry about shin balls. We'll provide those. But this will be your week to bring the shin snack. So, you know, bring orange slices or some Cheetos or pretty much anything orange works for a good shin snack. And get ready to scrimmage our bitter rivals. Skins. Hey, Marzipan. It's Homestall. And, um, crap. What was I calling you for? I was gonna ask you something. About something. Well, never mind. If I think of it, I'll call you back. Now give me that beep. Uh, hello? This is the King of April Fool's Day pranks, calling Her Majesty the Queen of April Fool's Day pranks. Remember that time we replaced everybody's toilet paper with 100% post-consumer recycled toilet paper? Nobody knew what hit them. Literally, they didn't know that we had done that. So for this year, I was thinking we could make everyone a cinnamon apple crisp, but tell them it's a ginger apple crumble? I know, I know. I'm so bad. But we could get in some serious trouble for this one. In fact, I probably shouldn't even be talking about it on the phone. Uh, uh, slow pitch racquetball? I'd love to play slow pitch racquetball. In fact, that's what this whole conversation's been about. Okay, so along. Hello, Marzipan. This is Crack Stuntman. I'm the handsome actor that's handsomely paid to do the voice of Gunhaver on the Cheat Command Show. As national spokesperson for a charitable wildlife organization, I'm demanding that you stop protesting at our rallies. Pistols for pandas is a just cause. These are stupid, fat, slow creatures we're talking about. They need all the firepower they can get. Last year alone, the PFP put handguns in the paws of no fewer than 300 underprivileged and unarmed pandas. And what do you care? People like you don't even eat panda. This is Crack Stuntman signing off and signing autographs at the North Garden Ridges Hills Mall this Saturday. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da! Hello, Marzipan. This is Nadine, Automated Menu Burger, calling from Trusted Financial Institution. To check on the status of an existing gigantic butt, please press or say Giganto Butt now. Or to place a new six-foot Italian sub in Strong Bad's hands, please hang up and do that mess right now. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I think you said Gigantobutt. If this is correct, 
Please press or say yes. I'm sorry, I think you said yes. If this is correct, please press or say total yes. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Let's start again. To check on the status of an existing butt that's so big it has its own congressman, please press or say Hey Marzipan, I remembered what it was. I'm actively sinking in quicksand. So, if you have any vines or roots that you could toss my way, I would be really, really still alive. Now bring that beat back. Hi, this is Marzipan. I'm currently drowning in the abyss, but please leave me a message anyway. Well, 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 Miss Marzipan. Any idea why Strong Bad's been going around calling me a stank wad? Or why the bubs keeps referring to me as a wad in the grass? Hmm? Any idea? Maybe because you told everybody that my middle name is Wad? That was supposed to be our secret! I thought we had a deal! Well, don't blame me if all of a sudden your questionable voluntary surgery becomes public knowledge! The Wad is out! Oh, hello, yes, middle of all conversation. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I just met with him. Oh, yeah, he's real famous. Which? Which with money? How many? Five? Five's good. Pfft. Sorry, Marzipan. I had to perpetrate like I was talking on account of this hot blonde thing walked by. Purple dress? Broomstick style? Oh, yeah, you're jealous. Yeah, what? No, he's half robot. Hey, Mazepin, it's the boobs. Say, uh, do you know any other women around here? I mean, you're not exactly my type, and I need somebody to go to the movies with. It's getting desperate. I'll take anything at this point. Lady Duck, Lady Pinecone, Lady Pillow. I gotta go to the movies with somebody. So if you know of any kind of lady item, put in a good word for old boobs. And tell them they'll get 10% off at the concession stand. Discount will not be on them. Hey, yo, Marze. Go Z. All up in the studio. Just cut my new record. Want you to be a sassy, high-pitched background singer on this new track. Maybe sing a like, word, I'm out. Or maybe like we sampled you from an old 70s disco tape. And you say, you ain't the type of man that you used to be. Basically, want to just get you up in the studio, which is kind of a cardboard box with a microphone in it. Not plugged in. Uh, maybe like, disregard that last part. I'm out. Peace, love. Uh, he says you're a face. A, a face witch. Like a face witch? Like rides a broomstick? Or a face witch like between two pieces of bread? You're a face switch and blow up your house. <gasps> your nose. Blow up your nose. <laughs> up some salt. The cheat, are you sure that's the direction you want to go with this prank call? <laughs> and now, you're just gnawing on the phone. Give me that. I'll show you how it's done. Marzipan, this is Dean Prank Caller from the Your Gross Institute calling to ask you to come speak at our graduation ceremony. If you're interested, please walk into the bathroom and stare at your gross face until you make yourself puke. Thank you, the end very much. Now that's a prank call. Mmm, oh. yes, hello, Miss Marzipan. This is your questionable surgeon. We were just calling to ask if we could use the before and after photos from your questionable voluntary surgery in one of our advertisements. Yes, that's right. I pronounced it advertisements. Hi, this is Marzipan. I'm off volunteering in the Coat Chase Mountains, teaching the heathens how to bend pipe cleaners. I'll be back in... Sorry, Marzi. Time to exercise one of my favorite perks of house-sitting. <laughs> Greetings, weary telephone traveler. I sense you have come in search of marzipan, but you have stumbled upon so much more. Tis I, Strong Sad, house sitter extraordinaire. Please organize your thoughts for marzipan in order of least depressing to most depressing. As for crank calls, allow me to give you a theme. Furtive glances. Ugh, too verbose. Come on, Sads, quick and to the point. In and out, hook em and cook em. 
Where's a pen? Be gone. Strong sad be here. So drop your purpose in mine ear. I'll pass it on before too long. Let's pretend that never happened. Hello, this is Strong Sad, temporary steward of Marzipan's domicile. Please leave your jumbled message at the tone so I can articulately reword it in journal form for Marzipan to read upon her safe return. Good enough for government work, I say. Wait, what? Hold on, I wasn't prepared for this. Just give me a sec. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Yes, this is. Strong, bad, calling for strong, sad, uh, I'm gonna knee you in the face for breakfast? Uh, hold on, let me reconfigure and call back. Hey, Elephants Gerald, I left some of my stuff over in Marzipan's the last time she always had me over there for dinner all the time. So when you come home, could you be sure and grab my Marzipan's TV, my Marzipan's guitar and amp, and, oh yeah, my marzipan's cash and her jewelry. If you do, the chance of dead things in your bed drops into the 42% range. Yeah, you can ignore that one. Dang, marzipan, you sounded fine. You sound finer than the fine you get when you return a movie late to the movie store. You're even sounding finer than a $3 fine for new releases. Maybe I should swing by for the... That is quite enough. Oh, Marzipan, you look, uh, great. Is that a new skin you're wearing? It's strong sad. It is. It is strong sad and strong unfortunate what happened to your face. Ooh, Piao, call me Piao. What a crack! This is not what I plunked nine bucks and quarters into a broken payphone to hear. Strong said, remind me to kick your shins unmercifully next time I see you. And also, you think the 500 feet from Marzipan's house thing still counts if she's not in it? Cause I cop some sweet goose flesh when I hit that 497 foot range. Ooh, creeped myself out there. Gonna hang up! <coughs> Sorry, I didn't hear your outgoing message. I was choking down a chocolate dipped tapeworm. Anyways, Agent Panzimar. About the plot against S. Sad. Things are moving along just as planned. In a snag with step two, though, the camel died and was decidedly undelicious. We'll move forward with barrel of hot sauce approach. Provided that makes it past dinner time, look for my signal in the northwest sky. King of Cown, out! Strong Sad, what did you do to my outgoing message? Those things are like my adopted foreign babies. Anyway, I forgot to tell you that a guy named Slick Somebody called from a place called Marzipan Stupid Face Plumbing and said he replaced my toilet's Roman candle valve? Whatever that is. So maybe don't flush the toilet until... <laughs> Marzipan is bugs. You're three weeks late on that movie rental, lady. And that B.I. Warshawski still counts as a new release. That's three dollars a day. Plus, what's wrong with your voice? You sound all fat, depressing, and Alan Poe. And you're gonna be real Poe if you don't pay that late fee. <laughs> Shut up, bugs. Oh, dang. Oh, dang, muffins. Oh, dang, muffins pie. Oh, dang, muffins pie a la mode. This is gonna be the best April Fool's Day prank call ever! <laughs> now you're sure the science is sound? The battle axes and cheese wheezes will actually get through the phone lines? Uh-huh, uh-huh! Hey, uh -huh. Oh, fiber optics! Makes sense, makes sense! Marzipan won't know what hit her! Alright, strong man, dial the number! Um... Never mind, I'll dial the number. Um... Never mind, the Jeep, you dialed the number. We're sorry. The mailbox of the answering machine you're trying to prank is full. Please try again later. What? Why the crap is our mailbox full? Hi, this is Marzipan. I'll be out and about for about seven years, so I'll give you a call back after that. Thank you. Message one from June 17th. 
2009. Oh, hey, Marzipan. This is Joni all the time. I'm your acupuncturist calling you to tell you I, I have a new do-it-yourself-from-home program. That means you don't have to come to see me no more to stick needles in you. So I want you to wander around your house uh, reciting your, the, this new mantra that I will give you, which is, um, you play Faye Oikos um, Activia. So you just say that over and over again, and then pick up any sharp or even blunt objects around your house, and just jab them right, right into you. Um, I would work the kidneys first, and then from there, move on to, to the eyes. Okay, namaste. Have yourself a real nice day. Huh? And that's a new mantra. Don't use that one, though. Use the yogurt one. Hey, Marzipan, this is Home Star Runnel. I heard that you got a new smartphone. So instead of leaving you a message, I'm texting this to you. Smiley Man, Winky Smiley Man, Wine Glass, Wine Glass, 90s Camcorder, send. You have a call from Free Country, USA, Penitentiary. Well, surprise, surprise, Marzipan. Guess where I ended up? The Who's Gal! They only give you one phone call here, so I couldn't think of anyone better to blow it on than you, Marzi. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be away for a while, I think, here. You're you're gonna hear a lot of stuff coming out on the news. I want you to ignore 75 to 98 percent of it, if you could. Uh, the part where they say that my name is Coach Z, uh, you can listen to that. A part where they say I'm mostly green, that, that's, a, that's a fact, that's a police fact. The rest I would just ignore if I was you. Anyways, Bob's is gonna represent me, so that'll be fun. Hey, and get this, they say I'm a flight risk. That sounds like something you'd see on a trophy, doesn't it? Coach Z, first place, flight risk. $200,000 bail. Call ended for being way too depressing. Oh, man, Marzipan. Have you heard about the new internet quiz planking? It is going to be around forever, and I'm going to be doing it forever. Etched into the halls of history. Hey, Marzipan, it's Bubs. Look, I've been thinking that maybe I need a catchphrase or something. Seems like everybody else got one. Strong Bad says holy crap. Homestar says seriously. Coach Z can't speak English. But what about Bubs? All anybody remembers about me is how I once stole an aircraft carrier. What kind of legacy is that? So I got a list here of some catchphrase candidates. Let me, let me try them out on you and see what you think. Zabble do. Huh? Zabble do? I'd say it like... Zabble do, Marzipan. What can I zabble do for you? I think that sounds pretty good. But I could also go with something classic, like yelling, Scarborough Fair. What do you think of that? Or like something that sounds like it's from the 50s or 60s, maybe? Put it to me. Huh? Put it to me? I don't know. If you think of any ideas, give me a shout. Papadopoulos. No, oh, that's terrible. Ah, uh, Happy New Year's, Marzipan. It's strong, sad. It's uh, January 1st, 2011. And uh, I've decided to try something new this year. It's going to be a whole new strong, sad. Can you guess? Can you guess what it is? I feel like people don't notice my personality, so I'm trying to give them something to, to grasp onto. Have you guessed what it is yet? Hmm? Marzipan? Anyways, I think this is the dawn of a new day for old SS. I'm sure I'm going to keep this up for, for many years to come. This is not just one of my phases, like the eye patch, or the cane, or the monocle, or the bowler hats, or the jodhpurs. Oh, 
Those were dark times, those Jodhpur's days. Anyways, this is the new Strong Sad signing off. Hey, Marzipan. It's January 2nd, 2011. Disregard my last message. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. What a surprise. I've already backtracked. I couldn't even go a whole 24 hours. The new Strong Sad. Maybe, maybe the Jodhpurs weren't such a bad idea. I'm gonna go see if I can find those. Good afternoon, Mrs. Pan. This is Vince Knapmaker from Public Radio's The World Is My Butt. We wanted to call you to thank you for being a continued supporter of Public Radio. But we wanted to ask you if you'd be willing to increase your support. Every dollar counts. Do you have any idea how much it costs to act like you're this much better than everyone else? And furthermore, our uppity podcasts aren't going to create themselves. So please, as always, for the sake of tote bags everywhere, put a bunch of cash in a paper and or plastic bag and leave it on the doorstep. This is Vince Knapmaker for Public Radio. And now here's a supercut of Robert Siegel saying, I gather. 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 You have a call from Free Country, USA, Penitentiary. Hey there, Marzipan. We won our first victory in the long fight to justice. I had my hearing yesterday, and guess what? They're going to try me as a minor. Bubs tells me that's a good thing. So anyways, I'm celebrating with a batch of jail turlet melonade. I wish you was here to clink glasses with me. Well, these aren't glasses so much as they're uh, the little slippers they give us. They don't exactly clink. They just sort of slop together. I end up basically sucking the melonade out of the, the sort of foam Dr. Scholl's situation. You know what, after saying that out loud, uh, I think I'm going to skip this round. But anyways, free Coach Z! Free Coach Z! Ah, hey, Marty Payne! It's Hamso! I was just calling you because for some reason I seem to be more articulate on the phone. I hate to hang up. Knowing as soon as I do, I'll be back to... Ah, you're a pork rinds president. Or maybe like... Don't get chintzy with the chalk sauce. You, you know the kind of garbage that I spout. Anyways, give me a holler if you ever want to have a constructive conversation. Oh, okay, buddy, bye. Hey, Marzipanus Bubs. You know, the defense lawyer on the Coach Z case. Uh, I'm starting to have some pangs. Pangs of, this is a really terrible idea. Pangs of, he's totally guilty and you shouldn't be a lawyer. Pangs of, just what exactly is a charcuterie board and why is it so expensive? Anyways, I think Coach Z did it. And I don't know if I can defend him anymore. Whatever it is that he is accused of. I haven't really gotten around to asking anybody yet. I'm supposed to be in the courtroom defending him right now. But I snuck out to read some John Grisham novels to give me an edge. Only I mixed him up with Michael Crichton. And now my defense is based around dinosaurs. Well, what do don't? Boom. Oh, man, boys and pen. Kickstarter sensation, the ooh yeah. They're gonna make games for that thing for the rest of eternity. Mark my words. Every game that comes out from now until the end of time will also come out on the ooh yeah. Gonna outlive Sony, Nintendo, Coleco, Conseco, Jaleco, all the heavy hitters. Anyways, I can't wait to be playing ooh yeah games in 15 years. Or even like, five months. Written in Sharpie on the bathroom wall of history. You have a call from Free Country, USA, Penitentiary. Ah, uh, hey, Marzipan. The John Purse did not work out. We did not work out. Why, John Purse? Why did you do that to me, John Purse? How could you do this to me, John Purse? Hey, 
marzipan and strong bad. Uh, look, I just wanted to run something by you. Um, everybody else I've talked to says that this is the worst idea I've ever had and that my career will go down in flames if I do this. So you're my last hope to tell me that this is a great idea. As you know, it's June of 2012, which means we're coming up on the 10-year anniversary of Everybody to the Limit. So I want to celebrate in grand fashion. I figured what better way than to make a sequel. It's like for Hugo Gods Revisited. Let me just play a little demo right here over the phone. Let's for Hugo Gods again. 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 Do you remember that song from that one summer? It was really good. And you email it to all your friends. Let's for Hugo Gods again. So you can email it to all your friends. Let's for Hugo Gods again. And now email your friends. Guess who will be there? Probably Joe and Jake. Do you remember Joe and Jake? I mentioned them in the first song. This, this is the sequel. Let's for Hugo Gods again. F H Q W H G A D S F H Q W H G A D S F H Q W H G A D S. So that's great, right? I mean, it's even better than the first one. So, anyways, call me back. Tell me it's a great idea, so I can get the cheat to work on a music video. Okay, bye. That's for who we got again. That's for who we got again. Hey, Marzipan, this is Kevin. Um, did you, or I'm trying to remember, did you borrow my Trivial Pursuit 80s edition? Give a call back. Thanks. Marzipan, this is the Visor Robot. Listen, you need to tell Strong Bad not to do this. Let's fuck my gods again, crap. It is so terrible. I don't want to sully my good name. Come on, Marzipan, do not let him do this. Okay, see you around. Hey, Marzipan. This is a little weird, but um, this is the poop smith. Yes. I woke up today, and it just kind of hit me. I think I'm sick of the whole vow of silence crap. In fact, I think I'm sick of crap in general. I mean, have I been limiting myself all this time by smithing poop? Imagine all the other stuff I could have been smithing. Bread. It could be a bread smith, you know. I could have been a song smith, like Mike Ness Smith from the Monkees, the guy with the wool hat, who wrote that song, Different Drum, you know. You and I travel to the beat of a different drum. Or an 80s rocker like Ron Sexsmith, or a Mark E. Smith Smith, or a Smith's. Smith? Any of those things? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Anyway, if you can think of any other things that end in Smith, give me a call back. If I don't hear from you, just uh, forget the whole thing. I'll go back to the bow of silence. It was nice talking to you. It was nice talking. Oh, man, Marta Pan. I don't think I'm feeling so good. I think I've got a bad case of Linsanity. Oh, man. Have you seen this kid? Jeremy Lin, he can't be stopped. He's going to score 30 points a game for the rest of his career. The Knicks are never going to let this guy go. Face of the franchise. I will never forget Lin Sanity. Carved into the tree trunk of history. You have a call from Free Country USA Penitentiary. Marzipan, we've had a huge break in the case. It turns out there's a piece of evidence that can completely exonerate me. But I need you to get it for me. And all you gotta do is go to my locker room and get it. I can't believe it. I'm gonna be a free man. Okay, so as soon as you're done listening to this message, go straight to my locker room, go to the far locker on the left, open it up, and you're gonna see... Well, Marzipan, I apologize in advance. You're gonna see a pile of jacks. But I know you can do it. Just, just coat your hand in a spray of right guard beforehand and you'll be fine. And once you get to the bottom of that pile, you'll see a folder labeled Exonerating Evidence. I know, who'd have thought, right? I had it sitting there all along. Anyways, I can't tell you how happy I am that you're gonna free me from prisons. It's been real hard, Marcia, man. But you, 
you're listening to this message in a timely fashion. I know you are. You always have. And you're going to go do this for me right after listening to this and not wait five or six years. I just know it. I'll see you in the courtroom. Free Coach Z. Free Coach Z. Oh, hey, Marzipan. It's Strong Sad. I've just been feeling really depressed cause, because I haven't been acting very depressed. That used to be my thing. Uh, I don't feel like I get to be sad and depressing anymore like I used to. So, I just want to kind of beef up my numbers in the sad and depressing column. So, I may be leaving you some messages as, you know, sort of dark inner demons and that kind of thing. Should be fun. Greetings, Marzipan. This is an automated call from Grody Lab Results Incorporated. Your test results are negative. Negative is good when you're talking about lab results. Wait, what? Oh, your test results are positive. Are you sure? It sounds like I'm giving her good news. I don't want to be party to this. They should be less confusing. Your test results are terrible, and you're dying, or possibly already dead by the time you get this. If you want us to perform experimental surgery on you, and like sew a llama head onto your existing head, please call back during regular putting llama heads on people hours, and we will schedule an appointment. This prank call has not been my finest execution. Thank you, and have a nice day. It's taking way too long for the sun to swallow up the earth. At the end of the day today, think about how all you did today was look at your phone. I'm sad that I'm trying. Take that, not depressing strong sad. Now I feel great. I feel real happy. Oh. Uh, hey, Marsha Pan. Uh, I don't really know how else to ask this, but, um, am I your dad? I was looking on the internet for marzipan glazed ham, and uh, I got some weird results that seemed to think that, at least at one time, you were my daughter? It's kind of freaking me out over here. Um, I wish I could take, like, a, a DNA test, but I've had my DNA surgically replaced with MSG. Oh, well, if you could shed any light on this, um, I mean, I get it. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm dying. Also, I probably should have led with that. Uh so I kinda need to know if you're my daughter and if I should leave everything to you. Otherwise I'm probably leaving it to eighties rocker Ron Sexsmith. Remember him? From the monkeys? Hey Marzipan, it's Mitch from Sloshy. I wanted to send you the tracks for that split seven inch we're doing with cool tapes. Except, uh, Sloshy broke up again, and I also pawned all of our instruments. So, I'm just gonna do the tracks over the phone. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 this down, 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 is this a gimmick or a cop out? And is there a difference? That's it. Let me know when you've got it mixed and mastered. And uh, give me a shout next time you're in Austin. Or Portland. Or Brooklyn. Or Silver Lake. We'll get breakfast. Oh man, Marzipan, can you hear that? That is the majestic hush of a paradigm shift. That's right. Me and Pom Pom are waiting in line for our Google Glass. I can't wait to be, like, looking through this thing and, like, seeing other things. I honestly can't remember how I lived my life yesterday without Google Glass. These things are going to change the way they build cities. I'm talking Bezos Segway style. All right, I gotta go. It's almost me and Pom Pom's turn. Blinking photographs into the profile pics of history. Hey, Marzipan. This is 
the new girl character in town. Sharp Dean. That's my name, Sharp Dean. You better watch your back. You're not the only girl around no more. Now that Sharp Dean's gonna stake her claim, I'm a real good character. You look like a broomstick? Well, guess what? I look like a coat rack. Skinny tall. Nope, that was my grandmother's name. Grandmother Skinny Tall. She is dead. Hey, guess what, Marjorie Payne, since I'm Sharp Dean? We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight one another. How about a stick? Do you have a boyfriend? I'm gonna steal your boyfriend. My daddy owns a moving company. So if you don't want me to pound you into a salt patch, then you better bake me something good, Marjorie Payne. That's right, some kind of pie brownies cookie. Hey, you leave that for me where, where I'm staying at, which is Strong Bad's kitchen table. Okay, Sharp Dean is on the prowl. This is going somewhere. Hey, Marzipan, this is Kevin. Um, could you please give me a call? I just really need to get that uh, Trivial Pursuit back. Thanks. Hey, Marzipan, it's Clark from Sloshy. Uh, look, Mitch called me and convinced me to do a backing vocal track on your answering machine, so here it goes. Gonna be a lot of dead air. One, two, three, four. I think he's phoning this one in. I know what he meant. Is this a gimmick? Is this a cop-out? I'm pretty sure there's not a difference. All right, thanks. Oh, and uh, somehow I ended up with your copy of 80s Trivial Pursuit. Let me know if you need that back. Oh, hey, Marzipan. This is Puppet Hope's doll. That's right. Come at you, puppet style. I've got 8% more sass than regular Hope's doll. When I talk, I kind of go like this. I gotta thrust my head out with each word. Listen to my mouth flaps. Oh, yeah. You tell him. You tell him, felt mouth. And I would like to leave you with a little spin my bado. Puppy Hope Star is gone. Good afternoon, Marzipan. This is Litigation Jackson. I'm the prosecuting attorney in the case against Coach Z. We understand you've been harassed, harassed, and harangued by Coach Z over the years. We'd like to know if you'd be willing to take the stand. You could be a very valuable witness in this case. Please give me a call back post-haste. That's not a legal term, but it sounds official. And so say all of us, the system really works, jerks. Hey, Mazapan, this is Larry Palaroncini. I'm from the band Limousine. What's the big idea doing a split seven inch with that short haircut, glasses having, I don't even know what you call the opposite of leather pants wearing band sloshy. I thought we were gonna collaborate. You're supposed to be an instrumental part of our big comeback. We're coming up on the 13th anniversary of our hit song Night Mamas. And I've got a great idea for a sequel. Let's Night Mamas again. Let's Night Mamas again. Oh, yes, Marzipan. This is your foreign boyfriend, Ron Gardo. Shave my body. It's so nice to hear your voice again on Machine of Answers. I miss all the time we spend in foreign lands together, having exotic foods. I'm visiting your country now and want you to come and meet with me. I hear there's a lovely little cafe in a place called Strong Badia. Would you go please and wait for me there? As is the custom of my people, I will be very late and you should wait for a really long time. You will think that it is too long to be waiting. But I assure you, it's the custom of my people, and you don't want to be offending my people. Do you? All right. I kiss you on both sides of your cheek and underneath your chin, as is the custom of my people. And now I bid you farewell in the most prime language of my country. Braunschweiger! 
Oh, hey, once again, it's Homestar. I was just calling the Aston Lock. I was just calling the Aston Lock. I was just calling the Aston Lock. Uh, hey, Mods Band, it's Homestar. Uh, me and Pom Pom were just here, you know, hanging out somewhere in the year 1999 to 2001. And Pom Pom is great. He's my best friend, and you're my girlfriend, and maybe we can all be friends uh, this weekend. Uh, that's like rap music. <laughs> um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna sound this way forever. Okay, bye! Hey, Mazapan! You know how you're always bugging me to start carrying organic stuff at the concession stand? Well, I finally listened to you. If by organic you meant of or pertaining to the illegal selling and trade of human organs, I got ice packs, little igloo coolers, scalpels, discounts on hotel rooms, bathtubs full of ice, chloroform, and 15-pass Econoline vans pre-lined with plastic sheeting. So come on down to Bub's Organic Concession Stand, where we're keeping that one urban legend alive. You know the one I'm talking about? Oh, hey, Marzipan sister. This is Homestar. I was just calling with a status update to let you know that Marzipan still has no idea what you and I have been up to. I say that in this kind of way. That some I think is suggestive. Anyways, you got nothing to worry about. I am extra careful. I mean, can you imagine what would happen if I accidentally mixed you guys up? <laughs> and like called the wrong sister? Oh man, the crap storm that would unleash. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm laughing so effortlessly. Because it's so unlikely. <sighs> so, to recap, Marzipan has a sister. Suggestive styles. And she's got no idea what's going on between us. Okay, bye. Hey, Marzipan, it's Strong Sad. I was just calling to let you know I, I just got the approved permits from Bubs. So Wilted Salad Festival 2014 is on. We've got arugula. We've got kale. We've got baby spring mix. We got napa cabbage. We got endive. We got chard. We got Swiss chard. We got so many different types of wilted salad. It's making me talk like some sort of turn of the century state fair kind of guy. Whew. Got a little carried away. Anyways, definitely come on out. It's gonna be radicchio. Oh man, I gotta go put that on the poster. Look here, this, this message is from Marzipan, you know, because cause that's a real name. This is Tucker Donaldson from CampusSafety.gov. If you remember, we hired you and, 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 and your band Cool Tapes, <laughs> real clever, to play here in our student union where you managed to incite a riot. Yeah, a real three-alarm kind of thing. I, I, I'm not even sure it was music that you performed. No thanks, right? No thanks to that. I went out on a limb for you, you and your cool tapes. They just snapped my branch. Your, 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 your tapes are not cool, in fact. How about that? That's the truth right there. I suggest you all get with the program. And by program, I mean the guidelines set forth on campussafety.gov, here, there, and for two. So p please, at your immediate convenience, call me at tuckertuckerson at donaldsafety.gov so we can deal with this matter. How's that, huh? How, how, how's that for a hot tape? Hey, Marzipan, it's me, Humidabot. I just wanted to call you up and let you know that I'm still Humidabot. Oh, and look here. It's my girlfriend, Humidabess. She sounds just like me. I'm Humidabess. I sound just like Humidabot. Oh, man, Marzipan, don't forget to remember that I'm Humidabot. If you, if you have a free moment... I'm going to go try and expand my personality beyond just telling people that I'm too minibot. Okay, bye. Hey, Marzipan, it's Homestar. Hello, Marzipan. Hey, Marzipan, it's Bubs. Marzipan, this is F-Sack. Hey, what's up, the fun? Hey, Marzipan. Hey, Marzipan. Hey, Marzipan. Hey, sweetie. Ah. Conjunctivitis. Marzipan. 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 Ah. Marzipan. 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 Marzip
Gar -gar Took a few years to set up, but I finally pulled it off. April Fool's strong bad.